you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Pull up, we bust, and not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much Henny, my shooter. What's good, to my Clutch, you back out with another video. Today's video, we got this new 64 badge shooting guard build in NBA 2K21. Now, this is the final position I had to cover. We've already covered point guard, small forward, power forward, and center. Make sure you guys do check those videos out if you haven't already. But yeah, now we got the shooting guard, the final position to cover. Make sure you guys make this build a shooting guard and this other stuff does not matter. That's personal preference. Now moving on to skill breakdown with this build, man. The pie chart you need to pick to get the maximum bad as possible. You have to pick this one right here. This one, sorry. Finishing and shooting. You're going to have Hall of Fame shooting badges and pretty good finishing. Make sure you guys do pick this pie chart. We actually did pick this pie chart for the most badges on a point guard a power forward and a center. So this pie chart right here, for most positions, it gives you the maximum badges possible. Moving on to physical profile of this build map, personally it's a shooting guard, so I personally recommend you pick all agility. If you want some other pie chart, go ahead. Like I told you guys, I'm picking all agility. Moving on to action time, make sure you guys do it just like this, so you get the maximum badges possible. You're gonna max out close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, and your standing dunk. You wanna put this to a 63, just like that. Max out your post hook, which will allow you to get 20, Finishing bad. Now moving on to shooting, max out your mid-range shot, or actually, sorry, put your mid-range shot to an 83 and then max out three-point shot, free throw, and your post fade, which will allow you to get 27. Shooting badges. Now moving on to playmaking, max out pass accuracy, ball handle, and your post moves. Put this to a 57 just like that, which will allow you to get the maximum playmaking badges, which is 16. Moving on to defense, max out perimeter, lateral, and these last three upgrades, put it on your interior, steel, block, whatever you want to do. I'm just do steal. And you guys can see, here's the build. You get 20 finishing, 27 shooting, 16 playmaking, and one defensive and rebounding. You can add that up. That's a total of 64 badges for the shooting guard build. Now, since we've covered all five positions already, we can tell that the center gets the most badges, and the point guard and power forward are tied for number two. The shooting guard gets the third most badges in the small forward this year. Turns out that the small four gets the least amount of badges out of every single position. Last year, it was the power four, but this year it's the small four, which is kind of surprising. Shooting guard gets 64, just a little bit, just one extra badge than the small four does. So yeah, I just want to throw that out there for people that were curious. Move on to Sars Demand. Body shape does not matter. Personally, I'm going to just make the build burly because we're going to make the build pretty skinny. So whenever your build's skinny, he's going to look really you know, like a stick figure out there. So I'm gonna just pick Hurley. Moving on to this build, I personally just make the build six foot six. If you wanna go taller, go ahead. But I feel like I'm gonna make the build six six. You will be able to speed boost at this height. So it's a pretty nice height. Now moving on to the way with build, I'm gonna recommend you minimize it all the way down. Like I told you guys, man, we're making the build skinny. When you make the player burly, he doesn't look that bad. When he's skinny, just because we pick burly. Now if you pick compact, man, you're gonna look like a stick figure. Pick 180 pounds and pick the burly body shape. Moving on to Wingspan's build, I'm gonna just recommend you put it one below the default to 81.6 so you get a 76 ball handle. Here's a very key thing. If you guys do not know, you need an 86 ball handling to speed boost. If you pick the playmaker or slash or takeover, that gives you a plus 10 to your ball handle. With takeover, 76 plus 10, you're going to have an 86 ball handle in takeover. So keep in mind, you can speed boost with playmaker or slash takeover. No other takeover will give you high enough of a boost to be able to speed boost in this game. And keep in mind, when you hit 99 overall, you get a plus four to all your attributes. Ball handle, 76 plus four, you're going to have an 80 ball handle plus the plus 10 for a playmaker or slasher takeover. You're going to have a 90 ball handle with takeover at 99 overall. I'm gonna recommend you put your wingspan to this, 81.6. Moving on to take over as a build man, like I just explained, you want a speed boost, you have to pick either slasher or playmaker. I would honestly recommend you pick slasher because you do have 20 finishing badges. You're not getting any contact dunk animations, but when you have slash takeover, it will trigger contact dunks just because you have slash takeover. Otherwise, if you do not have slash takeover, you will not get contact dunks at all with this build. But if you have slasher, you will get them in takeover mode. So I'm gonna personally recommend you pick slasher, plus it will allow you to speed boost in takeover. But if you want playmaker, go ahead. And if you don't really care about speed boost, then go ahead and pick shot creator or sharpshooter. I'm gonna just pick slasher. And you guys can see, here's the build. You have built a three level score, similar to Pete Maravich, Bradley Beal, and Devin Booker. 
Very nice build, 64 badges. Now we're getting straight into the best badges for this build, man. If you guys do watch this video, make sure you guys do the like button, subscribe, pull up the sub count real quick. You guys can see we're at, you guys can see we're at 62,000 subscribers, more than 1,000 subs away from 63K subs. You watch this video right now, you like it to see. Make sure you guys do the subscribe, man. Turn on notification. Now we're getting straight into the best badges for this build. Put this to 9 and overall real quick. Let me take the sub count off. Give me a minute. Now you guys can see 20 finishing badges like i said this build's not getting any contact dunk animations but if you pick slash or takeover like i did you will get them in takeover mode so just keep that in mind 20 finishing badges having contact finisher will improve your chances of getting contact dunks in takeover mode so throw the badge on fancy fork yes slayer finisher is also another great badge you definitely want giant slayer you are only 6 6 this badge will activate against defenders that are taller than you but it works best against the defenders that are five inches taller than you meaning it'll work best against defenders that are six foot eleven and taller keep that in mind eight upgrades left i would say throw on consistent finisher i think i'm gonna throw on relentless finisher and two upgrades left i think i'm gonna just throw on acrobat that's what i'm gonna do personally for finishing badges if you want some other badges change your badges up do whatever you want to do moving on to shooting badges boom we have 27 Shooting badges, you definitely want your rain external hall of fame. Hot soul hunter, definitely. Green machine, yes, definitely. Difficult shots, of course. Dead eye, yes, I want that badge as well. Seven upgrades left. I think I'm gonna throw on volume shooter. On I was thinking about, yeah, I'm gonna do Hall of Fame for that badge, and I think I'm gonna do gold hot start. This is what I'm gonna do personally for my shooting badges. You want some other badges? Like I say in every single my videos, change your badges up, do whatever you want to do. This is just my personal recommendation. If you feel like you can come up with a better combination of badges, by all means. Go ahead and do it. This is just my personal recommendations. Moving on to Plummet and Batters Boom. We have 16 Plummet and Batters. You definitely want your handles for days. Quick first step, unpluckable space creator. I would say you want that badge as well. Now, Ankle Breaker, you could throw this badge on, especially if you picked Plummet or Takeover. Do it, go ahead and throw it on if you want to. I think I'm throwing gold bail because I feel like you got to have that badge. And I'm gonna just do bronze ankle breaker. You could switch these around, maybe do gold ankle breaker and bronze bailout. It's up to you, but I think this is the better way. Maybe if you want lob city passer, if you're playing with the slasher that catch all oops, it just depends how you're playing on using the build. This is just my personal recommendation. Moving on to defensive badges, boom. We only have one defensive badge. You are a shooting guard, so definitely throw on your clamps or intimidator. But clamps, it's a shooting guard. That's gonna be your best option for sure. We do have max perimeter defense and max lateral quickness. So despite only having one defensive badge, you still do have max perimeter defense and max lateral quickness. So you will be able to play some decent defense with this build. But that's pretty much it, man. That's the new 64 badge shooting guard build in NBA 2K21. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, man, make sure you guys do the like button, subscribe. Now with this video, we completed the series, the most badges for every single position in NBA 2K21. And like I said, if you haven't seen the previous videos, the point guard, the small forward, power forward, and center, make sure you guys do check those videos out. Let me know what you guys want to see from here. I'm probably thinking about bringing back the top three best build series. I'm going to do top three point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. If you guys would like to see that, man, let me know in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Turn on notifications. But that's pretty much it, man. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Until next time, clutch out. I'm feeling your energy And shorty man, she really enemy I got lots of enemies And they wanna act like they friends with me